place to when nothing came between my God and me and somehow it seemed to bless and my dependent and wonder why it's not the way it used to be but I'm ready to learn how to faithful My heart, my soul, my mind. Take me back. Take me back to the time I fell in love. say a pleasant good afternoon to everyone that is tuned into DJ Robert Ministries and uh, welcome to another Sunday afternoon of To God With Love. Yes, we are here once again to give glory and honor and praise to the Lord God Almighty for all the many wonderful things that he has done for us. When nothing came between my God and me Yes, I want to say welcome to everyone that is tuning in from Brother Devon Ministries.com, ATL Praise House, Shabak Radio, and PWE Ministries. Hallelujah, there is power in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever you're going through, whatever it is that you're searching for, if you can just call on Jesus' name, things are bound to change in your situation. At the great name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue will confess that He is Lord of all the earth. Your name is awesome, your name is great, your name is mighty and worthy. We also want to welcome those that are tuned in from JFM Live, that JFM Live that is in South Carolina. Yeah, yeah. Your name is awesome. Your name is great. Your name is mighty. Your name is mighty and worthy. Your name is healing. Your name is healing. Your name is peace. Your name is all. So much power in power in the name 
want to declare today that there is power in the wonderful name of Jesus. All about the name of Jesus. Yes, there is power in the name, no other name but the name of Jesus. Try this one. There is healing. Your name's mighty, worthy praise. Your name is here. Your name's praise. <laughs> Your name is all. Yes. No other. No other name. No other name. No other. No other. Oh, well. No other name. Jesus is Jesus. the name. Yes, it is. No <laughs> other name. Yes. That name is all. Say no other, no other, no other, no other name, name can do no other, like Jesus. No other name, yeah. Jesus. No other name, 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 no no other name, can do no other name, Jesus can. no other my partner and a friend and husband Robert to come and open in a word of prayer he amen amen I want to say a pleasant good evening going to each and every one and I keep in a lock to triple w dot DJ Robert ministries that come hope you have been having a wonderful day so far I uh, just want to open a word of prayer with you this evening. Lord in heaven and Father, give you thanks once more for another beautiful day that you have spared in our life to see today, O oh God. Father, we just want to tell you thanks right now for this word of ministry and all the connecting partners and all the listeners, O oh Father. Father, as we are about to start this program, to God with love. Lord, we put before you my wife, Larleen, right now, O oh God. Give her the right word to say this evening, O oh God. Lord, speak to your heart this evening that you can speak to your people this evening, O oh God. Father, send your anointing down on her right now from the crown of her head to the sole of her feet, O oh God. Continue to use her to do your work, O oh God. Lord, I pray for each and every listener this evening that they will be blessed. 
by the testimonies and the spoken word and the songs playing here oh god father I pray for each and everyone who do not have a job or a, a place to go to work each day oh god for to provide for their family oh god I provide i pray that you might provide for them oh god in very in a very special way lord open doors for them oh god not just only windows lord, but open the doors that they can go in oh god and the doors that you are open will walk through them oh god because we know that door will never close and you have opened it oh god father we pray for the sick this evening lord a prayer of divine healing over their bodies this day oh god for the healing right now from the crown of their head to the sole of their foot oh god lord they said if in words if you ask in your name in your son name jesus christ oh god it will be done so right now we ask in jesus name but everything here will be done in your name and you will get the glory the honor and the praise that you deserve in jesus name we pray amen that you deserve the glory the honor and the praise because you are great
Yes, yes, and today's reading is taken from Colossians 3, and it's re the reading is from 1 to verse 17, and it says, Since then you have been raised with Christ. Set your hearts on things above, where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things above, not on earthly things, for you died and your life is now hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is your life, appears, then you, sh you also will appear with him in glory. Put to death, therefore, whatever belongs to the earthly nature, sexual immorality, impurity, lust, evil desires, and greed, which is idolatry. Because of these, the wrath of God is coming. You used to walk in these ways in the life you once lived. But no, but no, you must also rid yourselves of all such things as these, anger, rage, malice, slander, and filthy language from your lips. Do not lie to each other, since you have taken off your old self with its practices and not, have now put on the new self, which has been renewed in knowledge in the image of its creator. Here there is no Gentile or Jew, circumcised or uncircumcised, barbarian, Scythian, slave or free, but Christ is all and is in all. Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Bear with each other and forgive one another. If any of you as a grievance against someone forgive as the lord forgave you and all of these virtues and over all these virtues put on love which binds them all together in perfect unity let the peace of god let the peace of christ rule in your hearts since as members of one body you are called to peace and be thankful let the message of christ dwell in you richly as you teach and admonish one another with all wisdom through psalms, hymns, and songs from the Spirit, singing to God with gratitude in your hearts. And whatsoever you do, whether in word or in deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to him, God and Father, through him. Amen. I want to thank the Lord for the reading of his holy, holy, holy words. Praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him, Jesus, bless him. the praise today because guess what he deserves all the honor and the praise that we are giving him and when the praises go up the blessings come down
Wash my face for you are my reward. Nothing else compares to you, Lord, my God and my salvation. I'll draw nigh to you. I'll draw nigh to you. want to say a special good afternoon to everyone that is just joining us on To God With Love on DJRobertMinistries.com. A pleasant good afternoon to everyone that is just tuning in also from Brother Devon Ministries, ATL Praise House, PWE Ministries, Shabak Radio, and JFM Live. And I'll draw For those that want to call in and to give your testimony or give a word of encouragement, our calling numbers are 770-666-8611. That's 770-666-8611. Or if you want to send a text, you can send it to 345-323-7319. Or call us on Skype at Robert Minus Samuels. Lord. Be magnified Oh Lord Be magnified Be magnified Oh Lord Yeah Cause you are highly exalted 
magnify the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Yeah, yeah. I have leaned on the wisdom of man. Say I love you 
adore you, Father God. It's not about us, but it's all about you. God with love with Lorlaine. Welcome to those that are just tuning in. We are having a wonderful time so far in the mighty name of Jesus and we just want to invite you to call a friend, tell a friend that to God with love is on and remember that we are live also on Brother Devon Ministries, ATL Praise House, PWE Ministries, Shabak Radio and JFM Live in South Carolina. Remember, our call-in numbers are 770-666-11. That's 770-666-11. Or you can text us at 345-323-7319. Or if you want to call us on Skype, it's Robert minus Samuels. We're just going to take this one from the top again. Fill this place. Hallelujah. We bless you, Jesus. That's what we want the Lord to do. We want the Holy Spirit to fill this place. Fill our hearts. Fill this place. And your presence will embrace. For your loving kindness is better than life. And so we leave the hands in praise. You're the joy of my desire. You're my whole consuming fire. But I know my help comes from you, Lord, with everything that I do. Hallelujah! May your power fill this place in a sweet and tender way.
In the praises of your people I clean our heart In his eye from your people Jesus, come on down And dwell with us right now Sweet Holy Spirit Take control May your power fill this place Sweet and tender way It seems I'm bound by the sin. Oh, 
Lord, you mend my heart, change my thoughts, heal my pain. Lord, I'm holding on to you. There's a blessing I need from you. There is no way, there's no Today we give glory and honor to God because we have made it to another week and we want to say thank you Lord. So many have not made it but thank God for his mercy and his grace. I worship you with all I I lift my hands towards your throne. You were God alone. Yes, remember that our phone lines are now open and that you can call in and you can give your testimony. We so want to hear from you what the Lord has been doing. We want to encourage those that have a word to call in. And our numbers are 770-666-8611 or 345-323-7319 or call us on Skype at Robert Minus Samuels. Yes, this is to God with love with Lorlaine and we're just having an awesome time praising God. My hands towards your throne, you were God Yes, he is God alone. Uh, there's none above him, none before him, none beneath him. There's none like him. Oh, you were God alone. Yeah. You were God alone. Come on, somebody say, I worship you.
Cause we can't do it by ourselves. Yeah. She threw her hands up in the air. Jesus, take the
In the express lane, rolling on the freeway And suddenly the phone rang Then I reached down beside me Then I looked on the floor, felt on the back of me See, he was drinking while he was driving Never thinking what he was doing I turned around and before I knew a pleasant good afternoon to you, caller. You're live on the air. Yes, this is Stacy Y. White. Hi, hello, Stacy. Good afternoon to you. How are you? I'm wonderful. And yourself? I am doing great. Thanking God for <laughs> another day that He has made. Amen. Amen. And I know, Sister Stacy, that you are just anxious to give that word that the Lord has placed on your heart. So I'm just going to just allow you to just go ahead and give uh, the word that the Lord has given unto you. Amen. Uh, thank you so much for the invitation again to speak today to your audience. I glorify God for this day that he has made. And today I'll be talking about shifting when God directs. So I'll be reading from Isaiah 55, 8 and 9. It says, for my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Amen. Hallelujah. So I just want to encourage somebody today. You might be going through a season that you don't understand. It may seem like you're in a place that feels like a valley or you're in a place that feels like there is just an abundance of lack in your midst. I want to let you know today that God moves in unorthodox manner and no man can fathom or even try to understand all the ways that he moves or what he does. So you may go through a season that you don't understand, but fear not, because that is for God's glory. And in due season, he will lift you out of that situation, because in his own eyes, your situation is for him to glorify himself. Because everything under the sun has a season, and so it will move. And it will shift when God directs the shift. And there are times when God will raise up someone and place them in a position to do what he has predestined from the beginning of time. And that is to accomplish a particular assignment or to bring life and hope to a particular group of people. So your situation now, you know, your story may seem like a mess. Don't look at the mess. Look at the message for the masses that God is impregnating you with. Because a season will come when he will allow you to speak. And it is through your words that lives will get transformed and hearts will be healed. Deliverance will come to those who are held in captivity mentally, spiritually, physically, and financially. Jeremiah 1 and 5 says, Before I formed you in the mother's womb, I knew you. And before you were born, I consecrated you. So, God knows that you are going to go through the situation that you're in now. It does not intimidate him, and he is not afraid of it. But God is looking at it and he's saying, I'm going to glorify myself in your situation so the naysayers that said you would never rise above it, that said you would never make it beyond a certain point, he's going to show up, going to say, look at my child. My hand of favor is all over this child. So ultimately, God has only good plans for his children, and he wants us to walk in his grace and live a life of greatness. So you are going through lack and you're saying, why am I going through lack, yet God wants me to go through and experience greatness? Behind every strong and successful story, there are different episodes. 
there are different phases of that success. Nobody became an ultimate success overnight. You have to go through a season of preparation. You have to go through a season of testing and trials. And after you go through that road where you're being tested, you're being tried, then when God sees your character is being built, your integrity is up there, then the light of God comes over you and his grace and favor lands upon your head and you find doors get open to you even when you did not knock on it. People come searching for you because the favor of God has been upon you because you have been through so much that he said, in this season, I'm going to exalt your own. I'm going to lift you up and I'm going to let the masses see that I did not forsake you in the first place. So at this time, God is raising up sons and daughters for his purpose. And it doesn't matter what your past look like that you slept with 50 men, that you slept with 50 women. God don't look at the mistake. He looks at your heart. And once you are willing to surrender your heart to God, he will pour out his spirit upon you, and then he will use you to bring glory and honor to his name. Take, for instance, Elijah. God used him for a season to warn the people about destruction that was to befall them for their disobedience. Elijah performed signs, he performed wonders, and he performed miracles because the glory of God was so engulfed in that man that God elevated him from one, from one dimension to the next. Nowhere, in fact, no one knows where he originated from. He came to the scene without any historical background and without warning. And that is how God will do it for you. You may be the person that is always left in the shadows. You always hide behind somebody else. And nobody knows your name. But guess what? The time is coming when God is going to bring your name to the ends of the world. And when people hear the name Susan, when people hear the name Laura, the name Michelle, the name Suzette, People are going to say, oh, I know her name. I'm in Israel, but I know her name. I'm in Europe, but I know this name. Why? Because God is bringing you to the forefront because he wants his name to be glorified. So Elijah elevated him, and he kept on elevating him. God manifested his presence in Elijah's life that he was able to perform Mighty exploits. And God is getting ready to do the same with some of his daughters and his sons that are right here today. Are you ready for this promotion? Are you ready to step into your next level? Because there's one thing to say, I want this thing. But are you prepared when God gives it to you? to operate in that gift, to operate in that office. So there's another thing. Because the, the man that prayed and God closed up the heavens for three years, Elijah had such an anointing on him that when he prayed, even the heavens responded. Because the rain, the heavens closed up and there was no rain for over three years. So as a leader, he believed by faith in his heart that if he prayed, God would hear and answer his prayer. And this is how leaders of today are to be. This is how ministers, this is how people in general are to be. You can't just open your mouth and pray, but you don't believe. And a lot of times people, they pray, but the level of their faith is not where it needs to be. Therefore, what they're praying for seems to be shifting away from them when it should be moving towards them. But because they have no faith in what they're praying for, they have a plan B, a plan D, all the way to Z. Now, if you had the faith to believe that God will, then you would know you don't need another plan B. Because God is the backbone of your faith. And once you have God... In the midst of it all, you know for sure that God will move. God will shift. And when God shifts, 
you, some of the people that are in your circle now will not be able to come with you because of where God is taking you. There will be no room for them. Not everybody can journey with you to the next dimension. Because even though a lot of people may be in your circles, not all of them are happy for you when God lifts you up. Not all of them will celebrate with you when God takes you up. Not all of them is going to come along and support you now. They are quick to jump on the bandwagon because they want to talk about you. They want to slander your name and they want to make up stories about you that they know nothing of. So we got to know within the hearts of our heart that God moves, God shifts, and when he is moving, we need to move along with God. We don't need to stand still when God is saying, shift. And when God is saying, stand still, we don't need to be all over the place. We need to be in a place of waiting. So even though Elijah was true to God, there was a time when God said, it's time for you to shift. And another has to take your place in leadership. A lot of people that are in leadership, they don't like to move over. They don't like to promote another person because they feel as though they're going to be overshadowing them. And so they don't want to elevate people. But a good leader, an excellent leader, is not afraid of promoting others because he shows that he's confident about who he is. Everybody has a different gift. Everybody has a different skill set that when put together can create a masterpiece. And Elijah was not afraid to make the shift. Elijah walked in obedience with God, and with God's command, he went in search of another, which was Elisha. When he found him, he knew that he would be his successor in like manner. Many leaders of today have also known that there comes a time when they have to shift as the Holy Spirit directs. But sometimes self comes in and it blocks up what God wants to do, and so God takes drastic measures. Elisha was such a man of humility, yet some of us are so prideful. And when we are, when we are humble in the sight of God, he will, he will use us to do wonders. He will use us mightily because we will never try to steal his glory. We will never try to steal his praise. And Elisha's humility is expressed when he stepped aside gracefully and started training Elisha. He started training Elisha to walk in his shoes. The prophet Elisha, Elijah casted his mantle over Elisha in which he threw his cloak over him. He did this so Elisha's status as his successor would be upcoming as a prophet, as a man of God, as a man of substance, because it is always great when you're under leadership to receive their blessings. However, some people are afraid of blessing others. Don't be intimidated by others because God needs everyone. So there's no need for us to get intimidated when we hear of another person doing something. What we need to do within the body and even in the secular world is to rejoice. That the glory of God came down over somebody else, and now their head has been lifted up. Elisha was God's master plan for the work he had for him to accomplish. Elisha walked in the direction of God, and at the ending of his earthly ministry, Elisha, the faithful student, became the master. As the shifting takes place, Elisha asked for a double portion of the prophet's anointing. And in 2 Kings 2 and 10, Elisha responded and said, If you see me when I'm taken from you, it will be yours. What a thing. What a blessing. How many of us would really say that to another person? That we will place it upon them. 
for them to get a double portion more than what we had? Or are we selfish and we're trying to hold on to everything else without extending our hands to others? These are qualities that God looks for the heart. It's a matter of the heart. And indeed, Elisha did experience God's divine intervention as he took up Elijah in the whirlwind. Elisha stayed through to the end and poured out his anointing on Elisha by dropping his cloak over him. This cloak was Elijah's mantle, which symbolized prominence and authority for the prophet's earthly ministry. So even though he had such an anointing, such a, a weight, the Shekinah glory was all over Elijah. He remained true, he remained faithful, and most of all, he remained humble before God. There was not one time when he tried to exalt himself, but he remained humble before God, and he walked in humility before men. Now, the same cloak that Elisha had was passed on to his most dedicated student, Elisha. And I admire Elisha so much because he received double. Elisha. This was a confirmation that he would now officially become Elijah's successor. God is always on the move to shift. He's always on the move to promote. He's always on the move to elevate. He's always on the move to uplift. But we must be ready. Therefore, it is essential for us to be on guard we must be available and be ready when he speaks. We must be available to move when he says, it's time for you to pick up your things and go. Be ready. And when he speaks, we must always walk in complete obedience. Because obedience is better than sacrifice. So as Elijah, he was very obedient to the call of God and he forget about self because when God is promoting you, you cannot allow self to come in because self has problems within your gifting. Because self will tell you, I did. I did that. I did this. When nobody can do anything without the grace of God, nobody can do anything without the power of God, but self will say, I, 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 and forget that it is God who is in it. So we must always remember that. <laughs> so Elisha, he walked in faithfulness before God and it also before man. And as a result, lives were transformed <coughs> and the Lord was glorified in the earth. And we, as the younger generation, we need to stand up. Don't be ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. We must always be ready to share it in season and out of season. Be seasoned with salt because there are others that have never even heard the name of Jesus. There are others that are hungry for the word of God. But if we don't stand up and we keep our mouth closed, God will shift to the ass, to the donkey, to the mule. He will shift and, and use them to bring glory to his name. We cannot stand up and not defend the gospel of Jesus Christ because we all have a gift and inside of each and every one of us, there is a masterpiece that the world is waiting to embrace. It will not be unfold before anybody's eyes unless we are ready to stand up in boldness with Jesus Christ as our head and as our Lord and Savior. Thank you so much. Father, we thank you this evening for this time and this hour. 
that you allowed us to come together again and publicly share your word. I pray, God, that the hearts will be melted today, that the word will resonate, Father God, in their minds. And, Father, we just thank you now for touching each and every person that is listening to this radio broadcast today. Father, I thank you, Lord, for your unadulterated word in the mighty name of Jesus. We give our glory, we give our honor and praise to you, Father. We pray, God, for the host of this program, that your spirit will continue to move upon the woman of God mightily. And, Father, we just thank you now for stretching your Holy Spirit in the four corners of the earth to break and destroy the yokes of bondage, to set those in captivity free, and restore sight to the blind spiritually and physically. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray, God, that your peace will rest upon your people, and they will have unspeakable joy in the mighty name of Jesus. Where they were mourning, they will have oil of joy. Father, I thank you now, God, that you are Jehovah Jireh, you are the provider, and I thank you for meeting every need of your people now. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray for the persecuted Christians, Lord God, and we thank you for covering them under the blood of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord God, for setting them free supernaturally as you did with the Apostle Peter in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, we thank you now, God, for tearing down principalities and powers in high places in the name of Jesus. We thank you for strengthening the body of Christ, Father, and pouring out your spirit upon your people in this season. Father, we thank you now, Lord, in the name of Jesus, that we will stand up in boldness and declare the word of the living God. We glorify you, Jehovah God, because we know you are the true and living God, and we acknowledge you by name on tonight, because you are, Father God, the Alpha and the Omega, Lord Jesus. We thank you for being the first and the last and the beginning and the end. We thank you for being the author for faith and our life on tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we commit, Lord God, this program into your hands. We commit the people of God into your hands. And, Lord, we decrease and ask you to increase in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you for forgiveness today. We thank you for blotting out our transgressions and forgiving us of our sins. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah, Amen. hallelujah. Amen, amen. One of God, I just want to thank you for amen. the spoken word. I tell you, it was well received. I just want to yes, thank ma'am. the Lord for his, uh, his word. Amen. His, his word is a light unto my feet and a light unto my path. Yes, ma'am. Yes. And I just want to encourage those that were listening. If you would like to be prayed for or you have a prayer request, um, Sister Stacy, do you have like um do you have a number that they could call or they could text or how could they reach you if they need prayers? Uh, they can send me an inbox on Facebook under Christ Elect or under my 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 uh, my fan page, which is Stacy White White, and I will get in touch with them from there. Okay, okay. So that's Christ Elect on a Facebook or your fan page, Stacy Y White. That's correct. Okay, and just to, um, to thank you again because time and time again I can call upon you and just ask you to give a word and you. Once you are available, even when you're not, even when you're busy, you always take the time out. And I just want to thank you so much. And the Lord bless and keep you. And the Lord may his face to continually shine upon you and to enlarge your territory. Amen. Amen. All right. God bless you. God bless you again, my sister. Yeah. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Yes.
yes that was our sister stacy white i tell you the word of god is powerful it's quick and it's sharp and it's uh, i just tell you awesome i never made a fortune probably not too late it's probably not too late yes and i just want to let our listeners know that we are also now live on love gospel station 90.1 yes and we're also live on brother devon ministries atl praise house shabak radio and JFM Live in South Carolina. From and we're still, we still want to hear from you. If you have a testimony, you have a word of encouragement, please call us and we just want to hear. We just want to, we just want to lift up the name of Jesus today. Got a lot of riches. Sometimes the going is rough. But I've got a friend in Jesus And that makes me rich enough I thank God for all His blessings on me And the mercies He's bestowed You know, right now, you may be going through some rough times in your life, but I'm here to encourage you today not to give up. I pronounce a blessing upon your life, upon your family. You must prosper and be in good health in the name of Jesus. I believe it on my heart. So Lord, help me not to grumble and complain of the tough roads I have owned. I'm drinking from my saucer cause my cup has overflowed. If I should go on living, if I should go on living, should the way get steep and rough, I thank you, Lord, I thank you, Lord. May I ask for no other blessing, Jesus. Glory. Because I'm already blessing enough. May I never be. Help a brother bear his load. I'm drinking from my saucer. Thank you, drink, Jesus. drink, drink, Cause my cup has overflowed. Yes, I keep drinking from my saucer, Lord. Keep drinking from my saucer, Lord. Cause my cup has Driving, 
Never thinking what he was doing I turned around and before I knew it Here comes this truck now Unplugged the machine, he's gone now Been told us all and we're strong now When a small voice said unto him If you promise to stop drinking And I ran it on that day Now for ten years he's been straight You saved me You, you saved me You saved me You saved me oh. You saved me And gave me a second chance Yes you did You saved me You saved me you Sitting in this chair, waiting on the phone to ring, praying up to God that someone would call me with a job opening. Cause it's been so hard for me, month to month, struggling to eat. But still, there was no answer. I stopped believing in His word. Got so mad, and when somebody say God's good, I just laugh when at you it. The time is passing, don't need by His grace the phone. Says we're hiring. That's when I knew you, you said me. Didn't have to you do it, me. but you did. You saved me. And I'm so glad. You saved me. Yeah. Gave me a second chance. You were there. You saved me. All the time. You saved me. You saved me. You, you saved me. He was 18 out there on the block selling drugs. With a gun at his waist. And for people, he had no drugs. See, the streets was his home Family and friends were gone Had no one to trust And deep inside he was all alone And then a deal went bad one day And it was enough to pause him He was shot four times And before he knew it, he was on his knees Look, you know my body, my heart is bad I don't think I'm gonna do I don't think I'm gonna lie Then I began to flashback on The things I've done in my past I saw what's that said to me I'll give you peace if you believe He accepted Christ that day Hallelujah, now he he's free For those tuning in in the U.S., uh, if you want to go out but you still want to keep connected to DJ Robert Ministries, you can turn your phone into a radio by calling 213-401-0096. That's 213-401-0096. Yes, and we'll be going for a quick commercial break, so don't touch that dial. Just keep it locked to djrobertministries.com. Get ready, get ready, get ready. It's the big, 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 big appreciation for one and only Bishop Baker on Sunday, September the 28th at 3827 Boston Road. Doors open at 5 p.m. Showtime, 6 p.m. sharp. Music by Brother CJ, the number one gospel sound. For ticket information, you can contact 914-830-7989 or 914-648-2125 or 914-912-8649. Tickets are only $25, include refreshment and meal. And for kids, $10. Be there. Be there. So the word is out, and everyone is excited. Why? Haven't you heard? London, Birmingham, and Leeds. Get ready for the God Time Now UK Tour. Featuring Sherwin Garger with hits like... All over my body, all over my soul. Positive with hits like... I'm positive. reaching for the highest of heights. No bad man can bring me down. Deep red. Deep red. Break every chain. Rise on. Rise on. 24 hours of rain. They are 
coming to the UK this October with artists like Ram One, Richie King, DeHazio, Marky T, and more. This is going to be major. For more info, go to GodTimeNow.com or find God Time Now on Facebook. Zechariah 1 3. Therefore, say to them, Return to me, declares the Lord of hosts, that I may return to you. Join us as we reclaim our land, men, women, children, and families for the King. Call 07506 563007 or email info at GodTimeNow.com. Book your church now. It is that time again. Yes, you have been waiting. Well, wait no longer. The Love Gospel International Awards voting process has begun. Go to www.lovegospelstation.com slash voting and cast your vote for the Artist of the Year, Song of the Year, Album of the Year, Radio Personality of the Year, and many more. Again, go to www.lovegospelstation.com slash voting and vote for your favorite. Yes, welcome back. Welcome back to, to God with Love uh, with your host, Lorlaine. Somebody lift your hands as we celebrate the greatness of our God. And as I don't want to encourage those that, um, well, our brother Robert has been nominated for a DJ of the, this jockey of the year and best gospel program. And we just want to encourage you to go ahead and to go to www.lovegospelstation.com slash voting and just vote, vote, vote. I think clo voting closes. Voting closes. I think it's sometime in November, I think. And so we just want to encourage those. Please go out and vote for our brother, DJ Robert. Thank you. Somebody lift your hands as we celebrate the greatness of our God. He's great and he's greatly to be praised. Yes, a song says awesome our god is awesome and for those that have experienced the goodness of god we can truly put our hearts into singing this one our god is awesome he can move mountains keep me in the valley hide me from the rain come on our god is awesome he heals me when i'm broken Strength where I've been weak. Forever he'll reign. Come on, say, My God is awesome. He can move mountains. Keep me in the valley. Hide me from the rain. My God is awesome. He heals me when I'm broken. Strength where I've been weak. Forever he'll reign. Come on, if you believe it, lift your voice and say, Come on, if you know he's awesome, say it. Come on and lift your voice. Today I am forgiven. 
His grace is why I'm living. Somebody ought to praise His holy name. Come on and testify. You know He's awesome. Say it. Come on and lift your voice and say it. of the Lord is here. I can feel it in the atmosphere. The presence of the Lord is here. Oh, the presence of the Lord is here. The Spirit of the Lord is here. Anybody feel it tonight? The Spirit of the Lord is here. I feel it in the atmosphere. The Spirit of the Lord The power of the Lord is here. The power of the Lord is here. I feel it in the atmosphere. The power of the Lord is here. The power of the Lord is here. Put your hands together. 
Yes, I want to apologize to our listeners for the disturbance that we had a while ago. Our internet um, went out, so it's back now. So we just want to say sorry about that. Let us continue to give glory and honor to God. God is here. Spirit of the Lord is here. Anybody feel it tonight? Spirit of the Lord is here. I feel it in the atmosphere. The Spirit of the Lord. The power of the Lord is here. The power of the Lord is here. I feel it in the atmosphere. The power of the Lord is here. The power of the Lord is here. You feel his presence. Come on, do you feel it? Hallelujah. Let's sing it. The presence of the Lord is here. The presence of the Lord is here. The presence of the Lord is here. and be glad in it. If you're just joining us on DJRobertMinistries.com, this is So God With Love. 
and we will be with you until 4 p.m. We're just having a wonderful time right here in the mighty name of Jesus. to do exceedingly abundantly above all you could ask or think according to the power that worketh in us hallelujah how many believe it tonight somebody turn to your neighbor and tell your neighbor he's able Yes, do you believe that he is able to do all that he said he would? Exceedingly, God is able to do. to do just what he said he will do. Just what he said he will do. He's gonna fulfill every promise to you. Don't, don't ever, ever. Don't give up on God. Cause he won't give up on you. He's able. How many believe it tonight? Yeah. Jesus. Come on, y'all. I need y'all to help me sing. God. God is able, God is able to, do to do just what he said. He said he would do. He will do. He's gonna fulfill. He's gonna fulfill. Every promise. Every promise. Yeah. 
As we come to the end of our program, everybody say one sound. We just want to leave this one with you. There is a kingdom sound. There is a kingdom sound. Everybody say that. There is a kingdom sound. Say it again. There is a kingdom sound. We just want to thank everyone that has tuned in today. Always a sound that precedes a move of God. We want to thank. The Lord for the spoken word that he gave us today. That precedes the move of God. Whenever you will find deliverance, wherever you will find healing, wherever you find... Uh, the program to God with love is centered around giving back to God. And so each week that we come, we just want to give our all back to God. And we just want to thank each and every one that helps to make it... Maybe the program that it seconds, is, if you will. we just want to give glory and honor to God. I would just want to thank each and every one that from every week that is tuned in and give their support. We just want to thank you so much. Over this room. To our connecting partners, uh, thank you for streaming the show live every week. We pray that God will continue to bless and keep you in perfect peace. Yes, please don't forget to join our brother DJ Robert live at 5 p.m. today for Praise Without Limit. You see it in majesty. Yeah. I just want to ask the Lord to just lead us and direct our path this week as we go through another week. Hallelujah. Will you declare? And as I leave, I just say. Worry about nothing and pray about everything. Because God's got everything under control. And we have already gotten the victory through Christ Jesus. You're seated in majesty. I 
Yes, your brother Mark Stewart just joined us and I just want to say hello and uh, how have you been? That's brother Mark Stewart from True Gospel Men. And sister Jackie D. Blessings to everyone from over at True Gospel Men. Somebody get on your feet and declare you are the reason. And because you got up now, I can get up and see it. Yes, uh, before I go, I forgot to let you guys know that next week I will be on vacation, so I won't be in the studio next week or the week after that, I think. It's what, like two weeks, so I just want to let you guys know that if you don't hear me, it's because I'm on vacation. See? 